Hello and you're very welcome to this video in our series on Unit 4 for Leaving Certificate Business. And in this video we're going to start looking at the area of taxation. So we're going to learn out what taxation is, the reasons for taxation, the difference between tax evasion and tax avoidance, and examples of household taxes and the difference between direct and indirect taxes. So there's a lot of stuff in this video so it's uh, stuck into it. Well, what do you think taxes are? Pause the video, have a brainstorm when you're ready, press play to continue. So, taxes are a compulsory payment to the government, so you have to pay them and it's charged in a range of different things. So for example, income, business profits, or it's also added to the costs of goods and services. Taxes are collected by an organisation called the Revenue Commissioners, um, and they're a state agency in Ireland that are responsible for, the, for collecting tax here in Ireland. Uh, there's an equivalent body in most countries around the world. So, why on earth do you think you have to pay taxes? Well, good question. We need them to pay for essential public services. So, for example, health care for your doctors, nurses, and the hospitals, for education, for teachers, public transport, so buses, train, public, you know, like stolen bus, uh, Irish Rail, and the DART, that type of stuff, for policing, so for the Gardaí, that type of thing. To create a more equal society, so the idea is that those that earn more money are going to pay more tax, and those that are least well off uh, receive tax breaks. Also, the taxes are there to discourage certain activities. So, for example, alcohol and cigarettes have a higher tax called excise duties applied to them um, to um, basically discourage their use because they're bad for you. In economics, look at the idea of externalities, but this is even for business, so we won't be going there. Now, two things that are important, tax avoidance and tax evasion. Tax avoidance is perfectly legal and perfectly fine. It's where you just avoid paying the tax that you theoretically should be paying. So this is where you reduce the amount of tax you have to pay by claiming extra tax credits or tax reliefs by spending your money in a specific way. However, tax evasion is the opposite. It's illegal. That's underpaying the amount of tax that you owe by not declaring all your income or the amount of tax you owe to the revenue commissioners. When you're caught by the revenue, they're going to take you to court and you're going to have to pay back the amount owed with interest. And they'll probably give you a fine or a penalty as well on top of it. So you don't want to be done for tax evasion. Tax avoidance? Completely fine. No bother. Tax evasion? No. Don't be at that now. Okay. It's important to know the difference between those two. Now, I'm now going to do a whistle-stop tour through different examples of household taxes that you would know already from junior cycle business or just from day-to-day -day, uh, stuff. So the three on the screen there now, PAYE, PRSI and USC, are examples of income tax. PAYE is pay as you earn and is used to pay for public services. So, for example, education, healthcare, policing, etc. PRSI, payment social insurance, is another form of income tax, and that's um, specifically being fenced for social welfare payments or social protection payments. So, for example, job seekers benefit, job seekers allowance, child benefit, rent, uh, family income supplement, uh, rent allowance, those type of payments. Universal social charge. Well, that was kind of brought in during the uh, big recession that we had here in Ireland, right, 10, 12, well, 12 ish years ago now, more. 2008, 2010 issue thereabouts. Basically, to bring in more money for the government, and it's also used to pay for public services as well. They are all, we'll look at direct tax second, but they are all paid, taken directly off your income and paid directly to the government. That value added tax is an extra tax placed on goods and services and is charged at different rates depending on the goods in question. So, for example, essential items like food has a 0% tax. Agricultural products have a 4.8% tax. The tourist sector has a, uh, like, for example, hotels, bars and restaurants have a 9% tax. Essential bills um, and other essential items and some non essential food items are charged at 13.5%, and everything else goes under the category of 23%. Please know that these, these percentages are correct as of March 2021 and are liable to change every year in the national budget when they, it is announced by the government. So other taxes, you got custom duties, very relevant now with Brexit. Uh, these are taxes on goods import to Ireland from outside the European Union and Britain is now outside the European Union. So if you're ordering stuff from the UK, you're probably now getting familiar with the idea of an excise a custom duty. Excise duties are taxes on certain goods to discourage its use. For example, cigarettes, alcohol, petrol. Cigarettes, why? Because they're bad for your health. Alcohol, well, yeah, sorry, it's also bad for your health. Uh, petrol, bad for the environment. You get the idea. Carbon tax is tax on non-renewable heating methods, so for example coal, natural gas, etc. Again, why to discourage you from using it? So you should use more renewable, environmentally friendly methods instead. Yay! Local property tax for the FPT is charged to owners of residential property. So for example, if you own a house, like for people living in, then you have to pay property tax. Simple. Um, stamp duty is a, oh, now this is a, a funny one, okay? It's a tax on written documents, okay? Most people associate it with buying a house, you know, for example, the con you know, in contract on that. Um, but it's also for other things. So, for example, you all, if you have a debit or credit card, you have, if you have a debit card, you have to pay five euro stamp duty uh, every year. Or if you have a credit card, you pay up to 30 euro stamp duty every year. Um, so, 
fun fact for you there on them. Dirt is debt interest retention tax, and that's a tax on the interest you earn on savings. It's usually quite high, it's about 41% or so. Uh, motor tax is a tax on uh, motor vehicles based on the size of the engine and the CO2 or carbon dioxide emissions it emits. VRT, vehicle registration tax, is a tax on vehicles bought abroad but being used here in Ireland. And then, of course, the sugar tax is another new tax brought into, or very recently actually, uh, to discourage you from um, buying sugary drinks. Um, so, for example, Coca Cola or pretty much any soft drink that had sugar in it had it applied to it. Uh, this actually caused a lot of soft drink companies to actually re what we call reformulate or re you know change the recipe of their drinks so that either A contain less sugar or there's a sugar free alternative. So that's why you've got like Coke Zero now, Fanta Zero, all those options as well. And other drinks like Lucozade and stuff now have less sugar than they did before. Continuing on, we've got C capital gains tax. Capital money gains so you're getting more so it's a tax on profits earned from selling an asset so something you own or an investment so for example if i had a second house and i sold it for a profit um well i'd have to buy one house first but just pretend land and make believe here for a second if you sold a second property you owned and the profit you made off selling that second property first of what you bought it for uh you would have to pay capital gains tax on capital acquisitions tax also known as in the old in fashion the old-fashioned idea of an inheritance tax is basically taxing the items left to you in the will of someone after they pass away, RIP. Um, so, now that we've gone through those taxes really, really fast, uh, what is the difference between direct and indirect taxes? Well, direct taxes, folks, are taxes that are collected at source. So basically, they're paid directly to the government. The government never, you never actually get to see the money. So, for example, income tax is, what we, is an example of a direct tax. It goes straight to the government without you even get to have a look at it. You just see it on the pay slip, what you should have earned, but the government said, ha ha, no, we're taking it on PAYE, PRSI and USC. Dirt is another uh, one that's paid directly to revenue by the bank. Indirect taxes then are the opposite. The taxes on goods and services that are paid indirectly to the revenue, so they're collected by someone else. So for example, when you go to the shop and buy a good, let's say for example, like, who do you? Uh, chocolate milk, for those of you that aren't Irish and don't know what I'm talking about. Um, the, the shopkeeper collects the vat and those items for you and then pays the government themselves separately uh, every month or thereabouts, depending. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video, folks. There was a lot in that video where we learned what taxation was, the reasons for taxation, the difference between tax evasion and tax avoidance, and examples of household taxes, uh, and more direct and indirect taxes as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions at all, please ask below in the comments. And if you enjoyed it, give it a little thumbs up and a like, and please subscribe to the channel by clicking that big circular thing with my name out in the middle. Thanks very much for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye now.